exciting. Defensively, maybe one of the better safeties I've ever seen in James. Uh, he's he's uh, really, really good at both, very physical. Walker and uh, 91 at the top there, I think are as good as we see any, any game in this league we play in. So uh, I think from top to bottom, it's, it's one of the better teams we've ever played in my tenure here. And uh, it's going to be a, a great challenge, but also a great opportunity. All right, raise your hand if you have a question. We'll bring a microphone to you. recently went up to Texas. How is his foot feeling and kind of what's the update with him? He says he's feeling better, but uh, today's the day off, so we won't uh, we, we won't know until tomorrow's practice really uh, what that means. Uh, but sometimes it's easy that it feels better when you're walking around, but uh, we'll see how he goes tomorrow in practice. But he was very optimistic. With all the adversity still surrounding the program, how do you block out all the noise? I uh, didn't know we had any adversity. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I just don't pay. I pay attention. Again, I've said this a hundred times. Our players are the priority. And they have uh, zero to do with whatever the noise is. And so you know, they should be the focus and they should be the priority. And that's what motivates me is uh, all of the, the, the talk or whatever is about uh, a kid or kids that. Uh, Good as Florida State is, though, playing in the SEC, you, you got to feel like, well, you know, we're prepared for this. Uh, yeah, I try to tell myself that, you know, <laughs> but when you watch film, you still, um, you know, I, I it probably, I probably feel a, a maybe a little bit different if it wasn't the opening game where there's so many unknowns because we we are replacing a lot of a lot of players, and uh, you know, you're not quite sure how your kids are going to perform. You know, it's, uh, against this type of other team. So uh, there's no doubt I, I think that uh, we have a football team that's capable of competing with anybody in the nation this year. Um, so I'm always going to be confident in that. In that. Uh, but there's a lot of unknowns going into to week one when you're playing, you know, who most people have picked to be in the college football playoff this year. Uh, and I see why. And I, I see their tapes. Uh, but this conference does prepare you. We've been in some good games, some good battles, and uh, we'll be ready. Our kids, our kids, they won't run away from it. They're going to show up and play. You talked about not having the tape of the quarterback and everything. What, what's that like to prepare for? Is that an advantage for them because of the unknown, or is it an advantage for you because you haven't played a college game before? Yeah, I don't know. You know, you could go back and look at uh, different scenarios where there's been quarterbacks that came out of high school, there was one in particular for the last couple of years, and I thought, man, this guy's going to be phenomenal. And he got on that stage at, at, a, at a school in this conference, and he didn't do real well. And then you have, on the other hand, a Johnny Manziel who comes out of nowhere, and nobody's talked about him, and, you know, unbelievable from day one. So it's, uh, I mean, if I want to look at it and say it's advantageous that he hasn't played in this type of game before, I could say that. They could probably say, oh, he's talented enough to handle it. 